Hi all, I'm Kristen Oropesa, Education Marketing and Community Coordinator here at Common Sense Education. We are back for another episode of helping educators get started uh, this school year. Today, I have Tali Horowitz with us. She is our East Coast Education Director. Good morning, Tali. Hi, happy to be here with you, Kristen. Awesome. Well, we're really excited. We've, we've had so much fun this last week, you know, talking to all of our outreach people. Um, and even Bianca from EdTech Reviews and Ratings. So I want to talk, Tali, about um, uh, something that I think a lot of teachers and and schools are thinking about at this time of the year, right? As as they're just getting started. Some might be in the midst of uh, professional learning as they get back into their classrooms. Um, But many educators and schools are getting ready and thinking about how to teach digital citizenship in the classroom. And I think our recognition program helps provide a roadmap for exactly that. And I was wondering if you could kind of take everyone through um, like a recognition program, maybe explain like why recognition is important and how schools and educators can get started in the implementation process. Absolutely. And I love recognition because of exactly what you said, that it does provide that roadmap of how to teach digital citizenship, how to bring in colleagues. So it's really a whole community approach. And also, I think it's a great way for educators to share professionally that they value digital citizenship. When you get recognition, that's a digital badge you can share in your school, you can share it on your website, you can share it in your signature. And actually, over the past two years, we had close to 10,000 individual educators apply for recognition, and about 5,000 schools apply for school recognition. We have three different types of recognition. We have individual educator recognition, school recognition, and district recognition. So I'm just scrolling down from our recognition page, and I'm going to go ahead and click on the educator one first where it says, get started. And once I'm on that get started page, I'm going to scroll down. And this is what I love, this learn, teach, engage, and reflect. Because this is kind of the whole common sense approach to everything, right? You've got to have that learn piece. You're going to learn more about any digital citizenship topic that you want. And then you're going to teach the lessons. You're going to partner with families. And then you're going to reflect on how the process went, which is the actual application. So Kristen, you brought up the roadmap, which I love. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that roadmap over here. And this has everything you need. Now, I think it's important to just highlight that this roadmap is specifically for you educators. Common sense doesn't collect anything. And quick secret, our application is actually incredibly easy. Um, But this roadmap is really for you. So if you see it in front of you, You can see it says make a copy. So go ahead, make a copy. Again, we're already starting to get you reflecting on, you know, what are you hoping to get from this experience? Why is it important to you to teach digital citizenship? Why do you want your kids to have this essential life skill? And then that learn piece is... um, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. So you've got self-guided trainings. We've got the hyperlinks there. You could always come to a common sense webinar. We have a bunch on EdWeb if you want to learn more about how to have um, digital discourse in your classroom. How do you talk about digital dilemmas with your middle school and high schoolers? Or how do you want to think about um, the election and misinformation and disinformation. We have a ton of different resources there. You could always go to a professional development led by one of your colleagues or led by one of us too. Then we're going to teach a lesson. So all you have to do is just teach one lesson. We've got all the direct links here. Anything that is appealing to you. Maybe you want to focus on digital well-being to kick off your school year. Maybe you want to start with AI literacy. You can click on any of these, teach a lesson, and then of course that family partnership and engagement a whole host of resources. Again, our family tech planner, which is one of my favorites. Um, And then you have family tip sheets. What is media balance and well-being? What do we think about when we think about our digital footprint? All really simple um, and clear tip sheets. Jennifer was on last week and we talked about some ways to engage families, right? And, And it's so easy. I remember when I was in the classroom, we used like Class Dojo. Other school used Remind. Um, Sharing resources, through like one of those apps is so easy, right? Because you can you can share this a PDF, you can share documents with parents, and so it's not like you know you're you're 
printing something and having to do all that, right? You can share it directly through whatever communication app the school is using. Um, so it makes it very easy for sharing and disseminating, I think, information to families, which is great. And then the last piece is that reflection and applying. So you're just clicking on that link here and it's a really simple application. You're just checking things off and writing in that reflection. So this is for the educator roadmap, the educator application. I'm just hitting my back button because I'm going to take us back to that homepage of the recognition program. And I just want to show you what the school roadmap looks like. So I'm clicking under school. I'm going under learn more. It's the same pieces, the learn, teach, engage, reflect. And then the school roadmap is a little bit more comprehensive because now you're thinking about teaching three or more lessons to three or more grade levels and sharing um, resources with families in three or more ways. And here you're going to think about who should you include from your school community, maybe the school guidance counselor, an administrator, a parent liaison. And then how does this align with what your school is doing? Many of you probably have schools that have a focus on social and emotional learning in some capacity. Digital citizenship fits in really nicely there. And then again, you've got the learn, the teach, the engage, and you've got your application and reflection piece. So that's the school one. And if you are a district administrator and you would like to get district recognition, you can get that if at least three quarters of your schools, so 75% of your schools have received school recognition, you can apply for district recognition. Um, and we hope that you join us and apply. Well, you know, that roadmap makes it really simple, I think, for filling it out because everything that's on the roadmap is exactly what's on the application, right? So if you do the roadmap, you already got the application done. Um, and and the great thing too, Tali, like, you know, you mentioned like the the badge, right? So many, so many educators, um, you know, place priority on professional learning and they, they love getting badged. And I, I love seeing them take pride in that and, and sharing that on social and and it's a it's a pretty big deal right to like you know, to know that your your teacher your child's educa educator right is is um deciding and making a very conscious choice to teach that in the classroom and, and i think when we think about the school recognition piece that's something that school leaders are definitely looking for um i think communities want to make sure that they're kids are getting these essential life skills. Um, and it's something that you can put prominently on your school website as well. Well, thank you, Tali, for, for being here and, and for sharing all about recognition. Um, we'll make sure that everybody knows where they can find um, that recognition page as well as the roadmaps. Um, and again, if they have any questions, you know, we're here, we're here to help them and get get started and get that implementation underway this school year yeah thank you all thank you for teaching our kids thanks bye all